Jacob deceives Isaac. When Isaac was old, his eyes were so weak he could no longer see. Isaac called his older son and said, I am now an old man and close to death. Get your quiver and bow and hunt some wild game for me. Prepare a meal just as I like it so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Now Rebekah was listening as Isaac spoke to Esau. When Esau had gone, she told Jacob to get two choice young goats so that she could prepare some tasty food for Isaac. The plan was for Jacob to take it to his father so that he and not Esau would get his father's blessing before he died. But my brother Esau is a hairy man, while I have smooth skin, Jacob protested. What if my father touches me and finds out I'm tricking him? I would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing. Just do as I say, Rebecca replied. She took once of Esau's clothes and asked Jacob to wear it, and then she covered his hand and the smooth part of his neck with the goat skins. Jacob went to see Isaac with the tasty meal Rebekah had made. Who is it? asked Isaac. I am Esau, your firstborn, Jacob lied. Come near so I can touch you and know you are my son Esau, Isaac asked. Jacob did so. Isaac said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. Jacob kissed his father, and when Isaac caught the smell of Esau's clothes, he blessed him. He made him lord over his brother and all his relatives. Nations and people would bow down to him. Those who curse him would be cursed, and those who bless him would be blessed. Jacob has scarcely left his father's presence when his brother Esau came in from hunting and prepare a meal. Who are you? asked Isaac. I am your firstborn Esau, was the reply. Isaac trembled violently and said, Who was it then that hunted came and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came and I bless him, and indeed he will be blessed. Bless me too, my father, Esau begged. Your brother deceitfully took your blessing, Isaac cried. This is the second time he has taken advantage of me, Esau complained. He took my birthright and now he's taken my blessing. I have made Jacob lord over you, Isaac explained, and I have made all his relatives his servants. I have sustained him with grain and new wine, so what can I possibly do for you, my son? Do you have only one blessing, Esau wept. Bless me too, my father. Isaac answered, You will live by the sword and serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Esau held a deep grudge against Jacob because of his deception. He plotted that once his father was dead and days of mourning were over, he would kill Jacob. Your brother Esau is planning to kill you, Rebekah warned Jacob. Flee at once at my brother Laban and Padan Aram. Stay with him until your brother's fury subsides. So Jacob set off at once.